It was more than a kid calling the name. The administration decided to look the other way. The, the board members decided to look the other way. The teachers looked the other way. There's got to be a financial consequence for letting this go on. Alex Barker is an all-around student, football player, wrestler, great grades, not someone you'd think would be a target for bullies. I just kept telling him to suck it up, deal with it, it's high school. But mom, Jessica Barker, soon realized this was more than just getting picked on. Alex texted me and I immediately went to the school and got a hold of the principal and I told him we have a problem. You've been aware of this. You've been aware of, of you know, the targeting. I said, now it's become serious. My son was just assaulted. He had been urinated on during school by the leader of the um, high school boys that were constantly targeting Alex. During school? During school. But Barker found the school's response even more alarming. I told him exactly who it was that did it. Mm -hmm. um, he called Alex into his office, talked to him, and then talked to me, um, said that there was no way he could protect Alex. Barker would later learn this student bullied other students before, behavior she says the school allowed to happen again with her son. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing that this adult, he was 18 when he pissed on my son. It's sexual assault in the state of Missouri. The resource officer failed to do anything. The principal failed to do anything. The cruel abuse continued for more than a year and Barker realized she might lose her son. So finally, in April of 16, I get a text from my son and he said, I'm done. He was ready to kill himself because mom wasn't listening. Mom didn't understand the brutality of it. So I went to the school the next day and told them that Alex would not be back. I told them that I just checked my son into a mental health unit because of their failure to protect him. Their failure to keep him safe, even though they knew what was going on. Oh, the look on his face. And I had to leave him there. was the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life, ever. But I knew I had no choice because I was not going to lose my son. She transferred her son to a new school district. Barger is now suing Mid Buchanan School District, arguing the principal, quote, acted with deliberate indifference and failed to take steps to prevent HE and other students from continuing to harass and bully. The suit states Alex was, quote, the target of harassment and bullying by numerous students at Mid Buchanan High School, as well as certain staff members. According to the suit, what followed included being, quote, singled out and physically assaulted during football practices verbal harassment, and sexual assault when the student entered the restroom and urinated on Alex through the crack of the stall. The cases that we are working on are diagnosed uh, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety. Um, all of these things are real, and these kids are suffering from it. And on top of that, sexual assaults. Attorneys Chris Dove and Dan Jamuski are partners at a firm representing Barker and dozens of other families in similar battles, describing sex assaults and severe harassment as, quote, rampant in schools. And parents, they say, are left in the dark about repeat offenders at school. We have so many cases where that very thing happens. They catch the perp or they're told about the perp, and then the next week they're next to him in the hall or in class, and it happens again. If the bully is punished, 
the victim's parents will never find out. Many times, school administrators point to a federal provision called FERPA, the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act. The point was, hey, let's protect children so that schools aren't going out there and sending out information about children, minor children, and information about their learning disabilities and or, I mean, any, you know, medical information. And so they've turned it into, hey, that must mean I can't give anybody any information until you get a court order subpoena and have gone through 15 steps before I have to give it to you. And so when you're trying to find out information, the first thing is a roadblock. It's, I don't even know what's going on in there. It's not just a problem in Missouri. Just this past year, a lawsuit filed against the Shawnee Mission School District accused the district of doing that very thing when an eighth grade girl accused another student of sexually assaulting her in a classroom. The lawsuit states, other female students complained to the school district about unwelcome physical contact by the perpetrator. The lawsuit goes on to say the school was aware the perpetrator had been involved in other incidents with additional female students and allowed the perpetrator to remain in school and continue to injure female students. Barker says she was in the dark too. The school never told her about previous complaints of bullying, some involving the same students who targeted Alex. Then I found out after I transferred Alex that there had been other students that had transferred. Because of the similar behavior. Because they were being bullied because they were being harassed and there was nothing the school was doing to prevent it, stop it. But change is easier said than done. If you want to sue a school district in Kansas or Missouri, states give school districts immunity in many cases. So in order to sue, you have to go to federal court. And that's if the district violated a federal civil rights law. There are also caps on damages, limiting the financial impact on the district. This person who did this was known to have done this to other people before. It hadn't been addressed. They were left in the school. That behavior by a school to let, allow that to happen, like the only way that's gonna change, in my opinion, is if there's financial consequences for that. I want the administration and the board to be held accountable for what they failed to do. Mid Buchanan School District shared the following statement in response to our request for an interview or comment. It reads in part, the district refutes the allegations in the lawsuit. The district investigated the matter and followed board policies. The district strives to create a safe environment for all students and places the utmost importance on the safety of its students, staff, and patrons. For more information on the law, how it affects your child at school, and what you can do about it, just go to our website at kctv5.com. I'm Emily Sinovic, KCTV5 News.